Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're out at Bevercoats Pitwood this morning. It's absolutely glorious. And nature really is taking a grip on this old industrial site. It's beautiful out here. While I'm out here, um, I thought I'd do a little bit of urban scavenging. And uh, look at this. In the wild, completely organic and naturally grown, <laughs> including bullet holes, indeed bullet holes, we have a Calagas bottle. So with a couple of things in mind, I think this could be turned into an oil burning stove for the workshop or for the back garden, maybe. I've been watching a lot of Jerry's DIY on YouTube and, you know, with the price of fuel and everything else, we sell our waste oil from the restaurant for a mere 40 pence a litre. Well, if you look at red diesel and paraffin, 40 pence a litre is an absolute bargain. So I thought, why not utilise that to provide some cheap heating for us at home but not a project that we're going to start immediately mind we've got lots of other things to do this week but nevertheless i wanted you to see what the heritage of this particular heirloom variety of uh, gas bottle is bevercoats pit ladies and gentlemen come on then dogs let's put this near the car and then we'll carry on walking we're only 10 minutes in, it didn't take me long to find that at all. We're just parked at the other side of those trees. So we're by a little runoff area at the side of the old uh, coal storage site at the, at the um, pit. And indeed, we found some more candidates. So here's a collapsed looks like a jetty of some type and just floating there we have another red gas bottle and just behind that red cone there's also a smaller one so there are two more potential candidates but whether I'm going to be able to get these out or not I don't know because the ground is decidedly boggy and I don't fancy a swim in chemical ridden rancid water but saying that it seems to be clearing up pretty well. Nature's doing its thing. And uh, there's a lot of life in here. That even could be a, a little moorhen's nest there. I'm not sure. But let's see if we can fish this bad boy out. You think I'm crackers, don't you? Well, we got it. And that's more of a usable size. That one's about 13 kilograms of fuel when it's full, I believe. And uh, it looks like it's got some pond water in it uh, so I'm not carrying that back to the car if anything I'll come back with a barra and uh, we'll we'll return it on wheels so we'll leave that there I don't think anybody's going to be interested in coming over here today to fetch that in fact I bet nobody comes this way for a few days so that is two and there's a tiny little one as well in there so Potentially even three But that little one's probably not worth Messing about with Look like maybe a little helium balloon canister So uh, yeah, I think I'll pass on that one So let's keep looking I think this will make an interesting vlog in its own right urban Canister Urban gas can foraging or something like that. I don't know We'll come up with a snazzy title so we're in a little bit of a wooded area just through there is the car park as was back in the 70s and 80s and there are two cylinders here blue not sure what blue did do I wonder if it says it on the neck anywhere at all Nice to see they use the stainless steel screw there. Hmm. I don't know. 
it probably does say, but I really can't be bothered to pick the whole thing up. Well, it doesn't look like a, a CO2 or nitrogen. Argon, maybe acetylene. Could be acetylene. Don't know. Anyway, they're too big and heavy duty and obviously too narrow for what I've got in mind. Maybe another project in the future, but we are about half a mile away from the car here and there's no way I'm putting them bad boys on my shoulder. So I can drive the car down here, by the way, um, to shorten the journey. But there's a nature reserve at the back here, so people might think I'm a bit of a weirdo. They'll probably think I'm dumping rather than salvaging these things. But such is life. Well, this looks like a part of the world where people pull up at the side of the road, which is up the top of this little incline, and discard their rubbish. Let's have a look what they've thrown away. Are there any gas canisters? I can see something here that might be a potential use. It is indeed a running barrow, which looks like it's not in too bad condition, actually. Just needs some new wheels. Well, imagine somebody throwing that away. I could use that for that gas bottle. What are the odds? Reggie, come down here, please. Oi! But there are no gas canisters. So let's just chuck this in the... I'll reclaim that pile. There we go. That's, uh, that's bought and sold. Any gas cans? Doesn't look like it. An old divan bed. Lots of chairs. And it's like just household rubbish, bit of hosepipe. People are monsters, aren't they? But one man's uh, trash is another man's treasure, as they say. Look, there's some pipe here as well. Imagine throwing that away. What on earth is this? There's nothing wrong with that. Blue LDP pipe. People are nuts, aren't they? Although I don't know what I'd use that for, so... We'll probably just leave that there for another day, in case another project turns up. But this, for sure... I can use this... Even if it's only got the one wheel on it. Oh, I'm such a magpie. Gemma's probably going to complain... That I've... <laughs> it even works on the rim. Check that out. A bit noisy though. I think we'll do it one wheel. And we'll stay slightly incognito for the rest of the scavenge. What are the odds? I don't know. I look like I'm taking my trolley for a walk now. If you could see me. Thankfully nobody can. Well, we've got everything in. I can't believe that we found that running barrow. I mean, what are the chances? <laughs> Particularly when I found that red gas bottle, I said, I'll go home and fetch a running barrow. And we found one. 
So the dogs are sharing the back with the blue small canister. We've got the big one laid down at the back here. I close the valve because it's still full of bog water. And we've got the running barrel in there. We'll see if we can do a job on that and fix it up. It's a nice tall one, so it'll be perfect for moving gas bottles around. Not that kind, but CO2. Anyway, I think that's a good vlog in its own right. Let's get back to the workshop and have a look what we've got and then we'll probably sign out. So we've got our salvage back at base camp and you can see the difference in size of the two bottles now. I love the fact that this has got actual bullet holes in it. I mean, look at that. Straight through, rather neat and then straight out of the back and then uh, for a little bit of a comparison this is the barrow that we use in the brewery for moving casks around it needs a longer plate on the front and it needs a hook that slides up and down to latch onto top of the casks um, and then that next door to this one you can see this one's a lot taller it's just missing some paint i can paint this no problem Easy enough, we'll flake off the old stuff and we'll put some more paint on. And a new set of wheels. This has had a couple of new sets of wheels. In fact, it's due some new wheels because we've got a piece of rubber flaking off there. So what I might actually do is actually salvage that wheel and put it on there to make one good barra. And then we'll order a pair for this one. Once it's painted and got a new set of wheels on it, why on earth would somebody throw that away? unless they're concerned about how it looks but they're basically they do the same thing this one's handy though it's taller and that might be useful for moving big gas bottles around such as these uh, these co2 bottles that we have these are five foot tall which is quite high but having said that there is a drawback because we don't have the curving on the handle here. Like if you look at this one, if you've got something tall, it sits in this little back section. This uh, the backing stops it rolling out. That one you've got a potential for it to roll out. Could be modified if I was so inclined, but uh, probably won't. We might actually swap over and use that one for the casks when it's all done said and done who knows we could stack two casks on top of each other on that one you see anyway there we go i'm going to take the valves off i'm going to give them a wash and we'll basically just put them in storage until i want to begin this project which isn't going to be for some time but i don't want to store them with all the gunk inside i want to store them dry so we'll do that and then uh, wrap it up so there we go, valves removed from both of the canisters to help this one drain. I just popped a little hole in the side. We'll weld that up when we come around to doing the other job. And remove the wheel from that one and stuck it on the other barra. So there we are. That's the end of that little instalment and we're going to come back to this project another day. But we're going to start today's vlog proper now so uh, we'll see you on that